What equipment do you need to cook sous vide? So the equipment you need is really the most important thing is the sous vide professional. And then you can put that in any vessel like a stock pot or a big plastic tub. And then for some applications, you also need a vacuum sealer. Nils, what kind of foods can you cook in low temperature sous vide method? Basically, you can cook any type of food, but the ones that are going to have the greatest benefit are the ones that will need a precise temperature control, such as a rib steak, a brisket, eggs, but also something like a creme anglaise, like an egg custard. What are some typical times for sous vide cooking? There's no such thing really as a typical cooking time. It depends on the application. But uh, something that you would cook quickly in a pan or grill would go by thickness, anywhere from 12 minutes or so for a thin piece of fish up to a couple of hours to, for a thicker piece. Things that you would normally braise sometimes cook as long as one, two, or three days. Can you overcook foods with sous vide? You can actually overcook food with sous vide, but not by temperature. If you cook something for a long time, it might change the texture of the meat, but it won't overcook it in terms of temperature. So if you set the right temperature, it's very hard to overcook your food. And that's one of the great advantages with the sous vide professional. One of the common questions I hear is about the vacuum sealing. What methods are available to chefs? What you need in terms of sealing your food uh, can really vary. It can vary just from a bag with no vacuum at all, uh, or an egg, which doesn't require a vacuum, all the way up to a home vacuum machine. And then, of course, the, the best machine is the professional vacuum chamber vacuum sealer. One of the concerns that's often brought out with low temperature sous vide cooking is the safety aspect. Is sous vide cooking safe? Done properly, it's actually safer than conventional cooking because low temperature in sous vide is much more repeatable and much more precise. Uh, it's just a question of learning the proper times and temperatures to cook.